<laughs> Morning! <laughs> it's, uh, it's much colder now, but Spike's got his shirt off because he's showing off his, uh, his Urch Fab shirt. So, uh, welcome to the, this will be the third video of the Twin Engine Vinny. Um, so today, we're going to try and get this subframe that's the same as that one on the front into the back. We've done loads of measurements, um, Uncle Mike Spike has. Mike, yeah, Uncle Mike's here. He's also cold like me. He's getting old and needs that woolly hat. Um, but yeah, ultimately we're going to we're going to use the measurements Uncle Spike's brought up on the car. We're going to try and get this into place. We might have to attach it on a temporary basis just so that it's in place and then build some boxing around so that we can actually mount it to the chassis. So first things first, we're going to cut this subframe off at the back so it's a little bit shorter. Uh, tidying up the sassy legs now um, just getting all like there was originally like a piece which went across here so we've, we've we've sort of sanded all that back out drilled through the welds initially and sanded it back so we're getting a nice clean chassis leg this is just a single piece which will be cut out uh, also um, it's a bit smoky in here <laughs> So that's this leg um, essentially done. We've sanded back um, all of the, the extra bits that were on here. Um, we trimmed this back out and we sort of polished up using these wheels. That's what it was like the other side. Um, I've just started this one, cutting this out. Uh, like I say, these are all the, all the bits from the, the folded um, cross members this way in the floor. We're just taking all that out to tidy it up basically. So um, once both sides are like that, ta-da! <laughs> Christ. I got dirty. You are dirty. <laughs> Made a like hell of a move there. Eh? It's Movember. Oh, mate, yeah, it's Movember. <laughs> right then. Uh, so, what have we done so far? We have um, got our subframe. We've trimmed the, the back off the subframe now. Um, so that doesn't stick out the back of the car. Although we have noticed that now this engine's going to be in line here. We are going to have probably a turbo sat at the back of here. Woo! We like turbos. If anything's going to stick out of the bodywork, turbo's fine. So, um, we have mounted this subframe. Um, it's a temporary mount because we've gone off of Uncle Spike's measurements. We've, this piece of steel was in here to um, level up these arms because we had to sort of measure from this point um, and from here and also at the back to get the level. But what we've done um, as a temporary measure is we've used the original mounts and we've just tack welded these little brackets here that were in Uncle Mike's truck. Thank you, Uncle Mike. <laughs> um, so, so this is now mounted um, so that we know that, mind your red mate, <laughs> so we know this is now mounted correctly that way so the wheelbase will be correct um, and we know that it's mounted correctly uh, in that manner, it's the perfect height. So what, what, what now we've got to do is uh, mount these to where the original fronts, the original axle would have mounted up there, so these are the original mounts. Uh, Uncle Mike reckons he can make these um, fit here. Again, we're on a bit of a budget. We're trying to do it as cheap and as sensible as possible. So we're going to try and use these brackets. He's, he's just spent the time pulling, pulling the original bushes out. Um, and by the looks of it, he's going to try and use some of the original bits and pieces we've got hanging around to sort of bolt here and come round and weld into these. So that brings the front subframe completely sturdy. And then Uncle Spike's working on some way of mounting the rear of the subframe up to the rear chassis here. Um, and then once once that's done, once this is mounted and the front's mounted, then we can we can remove these, knock the tack welds off, uh, and then build something nice in there. Now the struts are going to come up through here somewhere, um, but we that'll be the job for uh, that's the next job. But yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so uh, this is the original bracket. Uh, Mike has made that up, little spacey round thing there. This is my old prop shaft from the old XK, and then a piece of bend from the uh, original original uh, original subframe. So we're just going to tack this in place and then get one made on the other side. Uncle Spike's working on removing some stuff from the back there. We've uh, this is pissed at the moment, but we're just sort of measuring this up we've cut into the the rear panel there's like a like a oem piece of box 
like a, or like a press um, box looking section there but we want to mount the rear subframe here so we trimmed out the bottom inside there um, and put this what's this 60 by 60 yeah. some 60 by 60 uh, three mil box um, so we're gonna like I say we just we just balanced this up that way leveled up against the OEM panel um, so we're gonna tack this and then level it that way to you know flat with the base of the car and then we've got a rear sensible point to mount our rear subframe on uh, Mike's just over there modifying the uh, <laughs> modifying the subframe lesson yeah Okay, so, all right, boys. Hello. <laughs> we are we've we've mounted the frame. Um, it's mounted solidly on the front original mounts, um, and then we welded this piece of box in the back here. Um, this is the outer mounts. Um, we're just going to fabricate um, something in the middle to come onto this piece of box we welded into this. So essentially, we just wanted to get it in initially. We're now going to take these out because we can make up some. These were just the temporary hangers we had just to make just to line everything up. So yeah, we can now finish this back piece and then we've got to start cutting um, to get the turrets in. So yeah, this is all in and, and feels and looks and, and lines up perfectly. The wheels come to the center of the wheel arches according to uh, the software. So it feels good, like the subframe's in and solid and like I say, it just does feel bloody hell. Just feels quite good. Uh, Uncle Spike's over there looking at me funny. Um, he's making like a piece to come in here that we can bolt through. It'll be welded here and we'll bolt through up under here. I'm just making these little fillet pieces to to go in these on these stanchions. Um, essentially, it's just like a captive nut in here. Um, so, yeah, just adding a bit of strength to the thing. Um, yeah, and hopefully Uncle Spike will hurry up and uh, get that done. Right, so these are the, uh, these are the bits that go up. Uh, it's going to mount the back, um, so we just have to sleeve those through so that when we bolt them up they don't um, pull all the box together. So all we've done really is drill like a 16mm hole in the top and, and just uh, like a 10mm hole on the bottom and they're just TIG welded like some bits of tube down through and then just sanded them flat, drilled them out. We're going to actually put some, weld some nuts on the top of this piece so that they're captive but it won't all squish up then when we bolt it together. Lovely! Righty-o! Both dirty, um, or all of us dirty, me, Spike, Mike. Uh, long story short, subframe is now um, complete in the right place. Um, we're actually pretty happy. Uh, the, this, is, this is all just temporary bolts at the moment, but it's all welded in now. Um, we've got a couple of bits to finish on the actual subframe. We're gonna get the subframe back out again. Like there's some bits where we need to just finish up welding, save doing like a upside down welding. Um, but yeah, long, long story short, it's, it's all in and mounted. Um, we, we, we just it just seems to have gone like too easily really don't it just really it's we just mounted a front subframe in the back of this thing and there hadn't been any major complications um it'll bite us in a minute it'll bite in a minute yeah we've said too much already haven't we um but yeah long story short subframes in and mounted that is solid as hell so still got more to do me yeah. yeah we've got we got so these two points here um they are i'll show you on the front they would normally um, mount up into the side. Oh, ours is different because we've got the DSG gearbox. Where's the standard one? So this is the standard side. You can see this mounts up into the chassis. Um, now we've obviously, the chassis at the rear is wider, hence why they are st sticking out. Now we'd normally have just built something round because you probably remember we had our temporary brackets on here just supporting the subframe. We've not built anything around yet because we've got to trim out quite a lot of this to get the struts in. Uh, and when we when we've got the strut mounts in, which I'll show you in a second, that's when we'll build out around this. Um, most of the software stuff that we've done, I say we've done, Uncle Spike's done, is just getting the point to where it's mounted and making sure that it's in and square and we ain't crabbing down a road or all of those things. So, you know, we haven't gone to the point of designing every single little bracket. As I said, like that would probably take hours and hours, wouldn't it, to, to design every single little bracket. So, you know, to an extent it's, um, you know, making things up as we go along. The only thing we really, really wanted to do with that software, uh, you know, to scan the vehicle, just get it in and in the right place. And that, as I say, is effectively done now. Subframe in, the wheels could go on if we had the struts in, but that's a job for next week. Um, so yeah, well, I'm pretty happy here. Yeah. I'm a bit, a bit dirty. I've got like a, kind of black bogeys again. 
Yeah, rusty shower tray. Rusty shower tray. Um, but ultimately, yeah, we're, we're really happy. So let's go and have a look at these, um, these other little bits that you've made before we end this video. Yep. Uh, okay, so these are our turrets, rear turrets. Uncle Spike's been on, um, on the CAD again, um, on our SolidWorks, um, and he's drawn these. Now, that is the same top mount as the front of the Mini, isn't it, at the top? Um, so that's a front strut bolted in already and essentially these will need to be stitched up into that chassis leg. So, so long story short, um, hopefully we'll be able to put it up on the screen now that Spike's drawn yeah. this by just copying the original you know, mounts from the front and, improving. and improvements, but uh, the top not bowing, hopefully, because it's made out of like three mil or something. No, the whole, thing's made out of four. Oh, whole thing's made out of four, is it? Okay. Gonna... Calculations. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not going to bend in a hurry, is it? Yeah. So, so the idea is like next week and we will be able to get the plasma out. Get the plasma out. Oh, goody. <laughs> And get these mounted in. They'll go in like, like they'll lean in back for some camber, and and they'll lean backwards again for the same caster. We haven't sort of cut down through any of this because we don't know the thickness and and all the rest of those chassis legs. So to an extent, this is going to be we're going to set up a laser, aren't we? And and sort of set the laser up um, so that it's at the correct angle, and we're just going to have to trim it back. And I think they're, they're thick enough so we can brace the chassis leg to it, and then we can come off of this with the cage. Oh yeah, we can pick the cage up from the back. We'll probably hang the front engine mount off. Yeah, that makes perfect sense actually, because the driver's side, yeah. um, the actual engine engine mount, we can come straight out of there, like almost like it is on a car. Yeah. Um, and that, like, like you say, that's plenty strong enough, yeah. um, and that'll be a good replacement because we got trim quite a bit out of that chassis leg. Yeah. Um, so so yeah, this will this will essentially be um, trimmed back, won't it? Yeah. Um, but like I say, until next time, we don't know. So it'll be interesting. So we're hoping next weekend rear struts on, which yes. means we can bolt the front struts on, put her back on the wheels, and then engine in before Christmas, do you think? Yeah, we better do something about the um, tie rods as well. Oh yeah, the tie rods for the steering rack. Yeah. Yes, okay, that's another little problem. Uh, well, it's not a problem, we know what we're gonna do. Um, the original steering rack mounts um, in here, doesn't it, on these bolts? Yeah. So naturally, we don't want rear wheel steering. Do we want rear wheel steering? No. 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 Oh, pussy. Um, so so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just get like two ball joints mount like something up here um, with a ball joint mount on, so that it just stays like a yeah, you left know. handed. Lock them off. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Um, so we can still sort of track it up nicely. Um, but they'll just remain. If we get them the same height and location as the as the steering rack, hopefully we won't yeah, suffer any bump steer or any exactly. of that. It'll be the yeah. same geo. Drop it on its uh, wheels and we can work out what the height is. Yeah, hundred percent. So, so yeah, like, well, that's that's yeah, that's that's something we got to do. All right, well, that's fine. So hopefully then um, next weekend back on its wheels and then engine in before Christmas. We have got to get another adapter plate made for the for the DSG. That's a that's our second DSG gearbox there, um, which is going in the rear. We got this one cheap um, on eBay, and a friend of mine, Ashley, thank you, mate, picked it up from, I think that was in, I don't know where it was. Can't even remember now. It was last year sometime. Because um, it was split down here. It was broken. I think we paid 100 quid for it. Um, it's out of a Golf GTI. Brought it back. Uncle Spike just stitched it all up. So, again, like DSG gearbox, 100 quid or so. Um, quick mend. It's probably knackered. <laughs> But we'll soon find out. So, so yeah, get another plate made. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy other than other than the steering rack, which we just remembered. We've got to deal with that. Are we going to water cool it? Or a... I think that we'll get... Um, I think don't think water cool. I think we'll get like a proper oil cooler and yeah, do the same at the front. So um, another discussion um, or more. Uncle Spike seems to like just getting things out and cutting them apart. And I seem to come up with the ideas that Spike doesn't like, which is I quite fancy putting one big turbo on this. So two engines, two superchargers, but like a turbo centrally mounted, like a, you know, like a big old girl, like something here, like a big old turbo mounted in the middle. That's not in the middle, was it? In the middle, because sat. Well, like in the middle of the exhaust, because yeah. um, obviously the exhaust is going to be exit sitting on the back, but we can go up over the engine and back down and mount a turbo 
centrally here or maybe even like right out the back and bring the whole front engine but it's something to be decided on like either way twin um, scroll sorry twin scroll yeah we we'll get a twin scroll twin get scroll. something engine for a back engine. It's, ooh, that's interesting yeah you do something tasty but but it, it's something to consider um and again it sort of adds to the list of stuff that i've not seen done before and i can't see why it wouldn't be possible because no one's an idiot no one else is an idiot yeah well yeah so anyway Enough dribbling. Um, hopefully, we've shown enough of what we've been getting on. What I, I, don't, I don't like making videos of just chatting. I've just I, I can't sit there and watch people chat unless they're chatting about something that I'm interested in. So I don't want to sit here and just keep dribbling on about it. We'll hopefully make a video where we're actually doing something again. So until next time, next Kisses. weekend. Bye bye. Like and subscribe and all of those things. Share it and help us afford to buy another pasty with our uh, YouTube proceedings for next weekend. We, we get hungry. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>